Hello, everybody. I am going to deviate from some of my usual videos and take a moment just to talk about metadata when you're working inside of Premiere Pro and particularly when you go to export files out of Adobe Premiere, where metadata is stored, how you can pick and choose what metadata is included with your export. So I'm already inside of the export screen inside of Adobe Premiere here, and I've got a sequence ready to export at this point. I am just ready to hit the export button. Before I do that though, I actually wanna go into one of the uh, areas here in the export screen, I wanna go down into metadata and talk about some of the options in here because a lot of people don't even notice this little button here. And this button unlocks exactly what type of metadata is being preserved in your export file. Premiere is designed to try and maintain a lot of different metadata and there's some standard metadata that gets added into any exported file uh, when, uh, if you leave this set to the default settings. So let me cancel out of that first and just quickly talk about this. So as far as metadata is concerned, you'll notice the default option here is to embed this in the output file. So this means that it's actually going to be putting metadata about your source clips, about uh, some settings that you can actually customize. Uh, it's putting metadata into your output file here. So this is something that you can actually turn this down to minimum required, and that'll get rid of a lot of it. You can also choose to put this into a sidecar file. So this is gonna create uh, an XMP sidecar file. Um, and that's very, very useful if you need that metadata to go into some sort of an asset management system like a DAM or a MAM. Um, but uh, as far as what metadata is being included, this is where the metadata dialog box comes up. The very first thing to note in this panel is source metadata. So Premiere will try and dump all of the metadata as much as it possibly can from the source clips into your output file. And this is something that you can either turn on or off with a simple selection here under preservation rules. If you need something more customized to say, I wanna get rid of some stuff, but keep other things, this is an area where you can go into this preservation rules editor. You can create your own custom preset and you can come in and pick and choose exactly what metadata is being kept and what is being removed from your source clips. So if for some reason you have uh, notes or other types of information that you don't want to have searchable in your output, this is the place where you could actually go in and you could create a custom set of rules for what's preserved or what's not preserved. Now this output file metadata, this is specifically designed to be customized. This is something where you can come in here and you can actually type in uh, different information in here so that if you want this to be, uh, have metadata included, including copyright information or identifying information, your title type. This information is something that, you know, I'm not gonna say it's not possible to strip this out. There are very many tools that can be used to strip this out, including Premiere Pro itself. If you bring in a video and you want to strip the metadata, you could set this to exclude all metadata um, and uh, create an output that doesn't have any metadata information in it whatsoever. But basically you can build out a custom set of fields in here to always say that, you know, hey, this is copyrighted by me. Um, I'm the publisher. Uh, if I'm working for a particular publisher or if you work at a network, they may have a special set of output metadata that they want applied to all of your exports just as a way of ensuring that this information uh, lives with the file and it's something that can be used forensically to be able to find what's going on. So if you haven't played with this, you know, there is quite a lot of metadata in here. Each of these different uh, things that I'm twirling down here, these are referred to as schemas. And these schemas are all in here for specific use cases. So um, the idea being um, many different types of metadata are used in different ways uh, in, uh, in different industries. Um, Premiere kind of takes a kitchen sink approach. There's so much different metadata that can be found in here. 
um, including, um, you know, specialty broadcast formats like AS11, which is used a lot in the UK. Um, there's formats in here dealing with medical imaging, um, as well as the, uh, the common ones for uh, professional video, things like Dublin Core, um, are common metadata formats that are that are found in here as well. So it's up to you to kind of pick and choose what is being embedded in here. Uh, you'll notice under media management, Premiere is actually assigning this hashtag here. Um, this uh, specific ID is something that is generated automatically by Premiere to say that this was created in Premiere and uh, this is the unique identifier for this particular piece of content. So Premiere automatically goes through and gives each new video clip that you generate this unique identifying number um, as just a way of kind of separating it out from previous versions. So I could continue to twirl down all of these different fields here. You'll see some of them are editable, some of them are not. Uh, the grayed out ones here are things that are being automatically generated. But this is where um, any metadata inside of Premiere uh, is, is being added into your output files. And if you needed to, you could easily come in here, create a new version of this with all of these disabled. And I could just call this disable all, hit save. And now basically you'll see that just the basic, basic functions um, are preserved and I can see exactly what's being written in here. Uh, things like start time code, the frame rate, you know, those types of technical metadata things that are necessary. And then up here at the top, again, I could set this to exclude all and uncheck markers. And now by setting this in this way, I've basically created a, uh, a, a clean version of this that's going to have the minimal amount of metadata um, that would be found inside of the export. I hope this helps. I know this is a very niche case, but it seems to be in the news a lot right now. So I thought I'd make a video on it. Thanks for watching.